Hey. Oh my gosh. I'm so, I'm so glad you came. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was way too loud in the house. Uh, at least we can have some privacy in the guest house. Uh, please, s- sit down. Uh, sorry that it's kind of messy. Um, oh, and um, my air conditioning is on the fritz, so if you hear it turning on and off, uh, just just bear with just bear with it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, my roommates kind of took over their house, and I couldn't take it anymore, so uh, I asked if I can have their guest house. Uh, it was dirty, and they told me to go fly a kite, if you know what I mean, when I asked for help uh, cleaning it. So that's why they're the night entry. Hence that baseball bat you see in the corner. <laughs> but enough about me. I, I'm so glad and happy you, you came from college all the way to visit me. I hope it wasn't too much trouble for you to drive up here. Um, so tell me, um, how's, how, how's college treating you? I'm, I'm sorry, just, I'm excited. <laughs> how's college treating you? Wow, it seems like you've had quite the college experience. Jeez, I, I, I missed you. You missed so much. <laughs> Freaking Jacob got arrested again. <laughs> yeah, weed again. Um, Sally got pregnant again. Uh, no, uh, not her. Uh, sweet Sally only has one. I mean, STD Sally. <laughs> Yeah, that makes four now from four different daddies. <laughs> How am I doing? Um, well, I have a job doing some side work. Uh, I also have an, another job doing some voice acting, um, some minor roles. It's not too much, but at least I can feed myself and still pay for Netflix. <laughs> Well, there's actually another reason why I wanted to I, I wanted to see you. After you texted me about your breakup, which you know I was so sorry for you, but I was sort of happy. Wait, wait, wait! Hold on, hold on! Calm down, calm down. I was happy because they didn't treat you right. Remember the time before you both left for college, and we all went to B- Buffalo Wild Wings. And you wanted to order the blazing wings and they laughed at you and called you a wimpy baby and said you couldn't handle it. And that was right in front of me and Jacob. Yeah, we weren't laughing. <laughs> what did you even see in them? Okay, fine. They knew how to cook good food, according to you. And they drove an Audi V8. whoop de freaking do so that justified the way that they treated you? So does that mean that it's okay if they were to smack you around, but feed you a nice meal afterwards? Well, I'm angry because... Because you should have been with me. <laughs> yes, I like you, okay? I'm in love with my best friend. I've been in love with you since the third grade, and you were, quote, dating... The kid with the 64 colored pencils. I've been in love with you since our old biology teacher made us lab partners in freshman year and you were dating the basketball player. And I've never stopped loving you. But it it just seemed like you preferred to date the more rebellious people. I mean, yeah, you're, you're still a very successful person and I couldn't be more proud of you. But I think, you know, I know you should be with me. I could treat you so much better. All the people you've dated treated you like shit. And I know I could treat you better. I I would cook for you and then give it to you in bed so you can wake up from your sweet dreams to a sweet breakfast. Your favorite breakfast. I still remember. Two waffles with glazed strawberries with whipped cream with a set of frosted flakes and a grapefruit sliced into thirds. Chocolate milk used with Hershey's dark chocolate and drizzled with Smucker's caramel sauce. Yeah, I paid attention. You always ate that whenever we had sleepovers at your mom's house. 
when when you drunkenly kissed me at Brian's going away party. That was the best kiss of my life. <laughs> yeah, really. Even with your Captain Morgan breath and your five apple teenies mixed with McDonald's 40 piece chicken nuggets. You know why? Because I was kissing the most beautiful person to ever walk this earth. And when you fell asleep in my arms because your asshole ex was too busy doing their thing, it was the best sensation, feeling your breath hitting my neck. And I know it's going to sound kind of fruity and unmasculine, but I almost cried. I cried because I knew that once you sobered up, you were to go back to your apartment alone because your piece of shit ex didn't care enough to check up on you. And you may not remember this. and may not have meant it romantically, but when you were drunk at that party, you told me you loved me. And I said it back. Every single goddamn time you broke up with an ex, I always wanted to show you that you should be with me. Someone who actually gives a fuck about you. Someone who truly loves you. I love you. You're my best friend in the whole world. But I want us to be the very few people that can say that we married our best friend. I want to be with you through thick and thin. I, I want to be with you through all the good times and the bad times. I want to be with you and only you. You're the person of my dreams. And no matter who I meet, I'm never going to love them the same way that I love you. I want to be your partner. The one who waits for you to come home so I can hug you and kiss you and listen to you vent about how Michelle is being a bitch again. I want to hear about the funny Markiplier videos that you find. <laughs> I, I want to see the world with you. I want... I want you. I'm sorry. I I know I I know I just kind of lost it, but I just want. Whoa! <laughs> that was out of nowhere. Why did you do that? He drunk again. <laughs> really? You... You felt the same way too. Why didn't you say anything at the time? <laughs> what do you mean... What do you mean you were afraid of getting hurt? <laughs> so... So you're afraid of getting hurt, but you end up dating assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! I'm just messing with you. I love you too. Come on. Lay down next to me. Mm. Mm. This is the best day of my life. You know how many times I've dreamt of this moment. For years and years. And now that I have you, I never want to let you go. I love you so much too. Well, now that we both know how you should us feel, you know what should we do now? Well, those curtains are blackout curtains, and nobody can see in. N yeah, total privacy. Uh, why? Oh. Well, I guess we just have to make our relationship official then now. Somehow, right? <laughs> can this day get any better? <laughs> 